Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So it's been a little while, but they've just come out with a huge update as the game goes into its final release. It added a ton of stuff. Um, so there was a couple of units that were added, just kind of like here and there. But this final update, I guess it's like the 1.0 or whatever you want to call it, adds some real cool stuff. Uh, first off, there are four new maps. We have the flat test map, which I don't know, I guess you could call that a map. But we have the World of Imperium, which besides sounding incredibly epic, has, let me see if I can drag it, a frigging coliseum with people that stand and applaud of the death of destruction you'll be levying upon people. We have a freaking volcano, because everyone needs to fight in a volcano, and we have a modern city. So this right here is totally perfect for your zombie apocalypse scenarios. And speaking of zombie apocalypse, to the unit customization, damn it. So there's a bunch of new character models now. They had come out with like, what was it, like a freaking table? Yeah, a table and a dresser and Santa Claus, as well as a T-Rex and the kangaroo. But now we've got new things, such as, were dwarves here before? Well, they weren't before, they're here now. Look at them looking all rustic and large-nosed. Him and I have something in common, it's the giant schnoz. Down here we've got the giant cyclops. Then an angry looking individual, his sadness comes from the fact that he has no genitalia to speak of, and yet he has a giant eye in the middle of his forehead. He can also throw rocks at people. Um. Cool creature, a ton of health. Look at that, 1,800 health. How much does the giant ogre have? Is this thing better than the giant ogre? Eh, they're right about the same. 200 separates them. Beyond that, we've got the German soldier. Not to be confused with the American soldier. I think, it, what was it called? Like the US World War II soldier? Oh, it's just the US soldier. So now we have the German soldier. But we have the skeleton warrior. Now the undead is in... Now the undead has something else to throw at you besides zombies. I like it. Looks very, very, I don't know, warrior-esque, skeletonly. Uh, and then the runner zombie. So this right here is what you'd want to see a lot uh, in that zombie apocalypse situation. So besides having some cool-ass new units, what else do you have? A new god power. And the god power is freaking amazing. I think it's called like the breath of god or something like that. What it really is, is a portable hurricane. That's what I call it. The portable hurricane button. It allows you to blast units with like, I don't know, hurricane category 5 freaking force winds. It's amazing. We're gonna have to do that. Oh, and there's physics for the units now. So they don't just like die and like fall to the ground. Now they actually get thrown, like they're getting attacked by something. So let us put together a glorious zombie battle of zombie magnitude. Here we go. Let's start out simplistic. There's so many things that we can customize these guys with, so let's just start out with something vanilla to check out some of the new, the new units. We've got the US and German soldiers, which have put aside their differences to save the world from a zombie apocalypse. Over here we've got 1,000 soldiers versus 8,000 zombies, runner zombies, coming in all directions on the modern town. Clear weather, 10 a.m. Can our men stave off the zombie apocalypse? They will fight back to back. Let's start the freaking battle. Here we are. The land of the free and the home of the brave. We have these plaid wearing some Mitchells that are going to be racing. Racing to try and end the human race. Let me change that sentence. They're going to be running very quickly, trying to end the human race. Look, the building's already on fire. Some destroyed. These random storage boxes hanging out idly. I don't know what they're there for. Pieces of rubble litter the countryside. Broken buildings with rebar sticking out and what the hell, a burned out car as well. Over here, men on all sides, prepare for the onslaught. Oh, sweet Jesus. Let's make it happen. And the battle is on. You can hear the music rising. Over here, the soldiers looking potent and powerful. Over here, the German soldiers. Their rifles pointed down range. Yes, yeah, somehow they're not going to harm one another when they're firing, all right? It's an ability they have. Over here, 
the runner zombies and they are running it is like a friggin marathon over here only with slightly less heartbeats look at them charge charging through the streets charging to end this city once and for all but damn it our men won't allow it to happen here we go yes the bullets begin to fly the bodies hitting the ground look they fall in different ways now oh it's glorious they don't just all just kind of like fall like little non-animated dominoes. Animations, eh, still somewhat the same. But there is some slight differences here now at the very least. Let's go ahead and continue to speed things up. Oh no. It looks like they're reaching our men. They are definitely reaching our men. What happens when our men begin to turn? Will they turn into zombies themselves? I have no idea. I've never messed with the runner zombies. I wonder. Can we use our god power? Let's find out. Oh, there it is! Did you see it? Just for a minute. Just for a minute I used it. One more time. There it is! The powers! The powers of the apocalypse upon you, zombies! Look at them go! <laughs> they do get back up now, mind you. I don't know how much damage this does, but man, it's funny to watch. Oh god, it's glorious. It gave them a little bit of a break there, too. They're still fighting for their lives. Come on, boys. Oh, let's find out. You know what? Hold on. Let's find out what the what the kills are at over here. 300 and 400 runner zombies have slain soldiers. Meanwhile, 1,300 sol uh, soldiers. 1,300 zombies have been slain by soldiers. There we go. So let's check this out over here. It doesn't look like zombies are rising from the soldiers. Oh, they're starting to climb on top of one another, boys. There is the pile of death over here. Things are not looking good for our boys. Things are not looking good for our boys. Maybe we can give them a little bit of a helping hand. What do you guys say? Here we go. Yes. Fly. Fly, zombies. Fly to West Salt Lake City. The blood. Spraying. Oh, this guy landed on top of the friggin'. That's funny. His blood is actually. <laughs> his blood is like clip arting on the uh, on the fence line over here. Oh, those are the runner zombies are totally victorious. No power upon you. The power of deities will slay you. You you flesh eating scumbags. Taste it. Taste the wrath. Taste the wrath of Hermes or whatever. I don't know. Who's the god of air? There's got to be one of them out there. All right. Anyway, it looks like the runner zombies are significantly better than the regular craptastic zombies. Our soldiers had no chance. All right. We're not screwing around anymore. The soldiers have been upgraded. They've been given enhancements. I, I don't know how, but it's happened. Now they fire super fast. And they're not firing bullets anymore. They're firing freaking catapult balls. Catapult rocks. Uh, 1,000 of these super catapult soldiers versus 20,000 runner zombies. Do the chances change? Will they be able to take these undead bastards to the ground? Look at the city. The city already looks as if though it has fallen. But today... Today, the United States and Germany will have none of it. They will protect their populace to the last man. Let us start the combat. Here we go. The music beginning to play. Epicness is afoot. The range, I looked at their stats. The German, um, the German weapons do more damage. They have a better range and they're actually more accurate. So yeah, there you go. Uh, Oh, yes! Oh, God! Oh, Lord! Oh, it is lifting the... It is lifting the zombies off their feet when they get hit by the catapult balls. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. We got it. There we go. Oh, glorious combat! Oh, Lords of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator! Make those creatures fly. I won't quite call it ragdolls, 
but this is freaking hilarious. What is going on over here? The waves of catapult balls will protect this land to the last soldier. I have a feeling that our soldiers are going to be doing substantially better this time around than they did before. Look at the catapult balls. They're literally blowing the zombies backward. They can't even catch up. Oh my God. Hold on. Let's go ahead and speed things up over here. Do these guys even need to do anything? The catapult balls are flying. Are they hitting anything? Oh, the zombies are trying to make their way through the, the narrow corridors over here, but they can't really move that much. Oh, look at this. It looks like a volcano of catapult balls. Oh, that's so good. That's what the apocalypse looks like when you give a bunch of soldiers catapult guns. It looks like, it looks like it's like hitting the buildings. It'd be awesome. It would be awesome if there was building destruction in this game. Oh, that would be so good. I don't know what it would take to make it happen. Like, it almost looks like the stuff is hitting the building. And, like, some of the buildings are already damaged, but... It would be amazing if, like, all these windows were getting knocked out and stuff. Oh, that would be perfect. The men continue to fight a couple of zombies. Look at this. A couple of zombies. Oh, they almost got in. Let's go ahead and grab a guy. Grab our guy over here. Out of the way, zombie! Up top of your crap! Ah! Yeah! America! No zombies are getting... No zombies are getting the populace today! Oh, it tells you you killed it! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa there, zombie! None of that! Oh, let's, let's roll on in here. Hold on. Now, I don't think that we can take damage from uh, our own catapults. So we can probably get up in here. Look, we're, go we're going into hell, man. We are going into the catapult storm of death. 60 hit points. For freedom! For freedom! Go forth! Look at us. Immune from our own catapults. We are protected. Did you see the body just fly through us? Look at this. It's like a freaking storm. It's like a freaking storm. There we go. Yeah! Yeah! Oh no! Wow, we died quick. Holy crap. Alright, let's go ahead and grab a zombie. We got 250 hit points. Let's see if, as the smartest zombie, we can figure this out. All right, we'll kind of go around this way over here. Doing good. We haven't been spotted right through here. Our brethren laying on the ground, sad and malformed after getting the living crap kicked out of them with catapult balls. In the distance, catapult balls flying everywhere. Now, what is our attack button? We have kind of like a double-handed smash. Did I just get blown away? Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Well, we just got our chicklets knocked out by a freaking catapult ball. Wow. Like a heat-seeking missile. Did you see that? Went right through the scaffolding and everything. What a bunch of crap. Look at these zombies run down this corridor. It's like they're trying to get to a freaking Black Friday sale or something like that. Look at the bodies. Look at the pile of bodies over here. They're running across their own, their own kind. Other zombies running on top of zombies while trying to make additional zombies out of American and German troops. But now all of the troops can kind of like focus their fire down this tiny little corridor. These zombies don't stand a friggin' chance. It's cool that it tracks our stats in the upper right. Look at that, player kills 30, player deaths one. It's interesting that with all of the updates made to the game, today's weather is still mostly sunny with some sun. Very specific. I love that that never changed. Man, it's taking forever to finish these zombies off. One man left. Where is it? Where is this lone zombie at? I have no idea where he is. You see? Oh, no, there we go. The, the, the catapult U.S. soldiers are victorious. Oh, this game's rigged. What about the Germans? They were freaking victorious as well. Don't worry. I love all you guys equally, all right? American, German, it doesn't matter. You guys fought for freedom on this day, and because of you, Las Vegas is safe to continue gambling and having prostitution and stuff. All right, we can't do everything in this episode, but there was one thing I had to do. A freaking volcano battle. We've got 10,000 dwarves against 250 giant cyclopses on the volcano map. Oh, this should be good. I checked this map out for like a couple of seconds. It looks like there's like real lava. Let's freaking do this. Where are our men? Like, we're on the side of this thing. Oh, there's dudes falling down and such. Look at these guys. They're trying to climb up here. Where are they trying to get to? 
Where are they at? Over here! The Cyclopses, look at them go! They're knocking dwarves for a friggin' loop left and right! Oh, this is insane. They're, they're literally fighting on that edge over here. There it is! There's the volcano! Is it gonna erupt? Ooh! Oh, I, it, I hope it erupts! Oh, that'd be awesome. I don't know if it does or not. If it, if it does, I will give the, uh... Oh, wow, dwarves are actually dying! Inside of the inside of the volcano now what happens hold on now we got it You know, we got to try this. There's a couple of dwarves stuck stuck up here. So it's no big deal, right? We're allowed to do this ready Whee! <laughs> Oh, they, they do they fall into the they fall into the lava. Oh, no. Oh, what is this over here? Oh Some lava has like broken down look at it go it's setting the ground on fire. Oh, that's awesome. Does this happen all over the place and only in, or only in certain spots, I wonder? No, it's happening over here. Oh, no. Look at this. It's going right through the dwarven ranks. All the dwarves are burning alive. Oh, my dwarven kin. Oh, no. Oh, is it going to? Oh, it's levitating. It's levitating lava. This is the worst kind of lava right here. This is what you never want to see. When your lava starts levitating like this, that is a bad day. Oh, it's hardening. Good. Good. The dwarves are still able to press on forth, although I don't even know where they're going anymore. They're running down this way. This is interesting. Are you guys, like, running for your lives, or is there a bad guy down here that we're fighting? Ah, taking the long path. We're taking the long path to victory. Dwarves, stubborn as they are. We'll do whatever it takes. Yes! Over here, the Dwarven forces, while they are getting thrown by the dozen, are still trying to fight these lordly ogres of might. Over here, several Dwarves kind of lollygagging around. I'm, I don't know. Yeah, they definitely want to take the long way. They definitely want to take the long way. There's only four giant Cyclops is left. Oh, man. Are the dwarves gonna have this? But here's the problem, these cyclopses are like on the side of the mountain. Hold on, let's see if we can grab a dwarf. All right, dwarf. For Heldenhammer. Get down there, you scumbag. Crap, crap, stop. Ah! I just got slapped. Dwarves are throwing themselves over the hillside to fight the, to make, make their enemies taste, the, taste their steely axes. Crap, I just fell. Oh, this is good though. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, we're doing it! Oh! We just got slapped right in the chicklets! Oh no, we got hit by a friggin' rock! Blood just went spraying out of our dwarven body! This was such a bad idea. Does the Godwin ver uh, work versus the Cyclops? It sure doesn't! It works versus the dwarves real good though. Come dwarves! You have failed in your mission and so all of you must get bowled into the lava! <laughs> Alright. Well, that didn't work so much just because of the topography. Real quick, we'll try something real fast inside of the Coliseum. Uh, actually, you know what? Before we do, there is we haven't ended. We have not ended a fight like this in a long time, so I think it's going to be worth it. There it is. The old nuke will clear things out quite nicely. Whoever's left alive, you will be chosen as the victors. And the, the dwarves with six left. I don't know where they are. Probably their, their flying bodies went down all the way to the bottom of the mountain. And those are the only ones that are left. Here we go. The final match of the night. Some flying dwarves. I don't know what the hell happened here. I think there was too many to fit inside the Coliseum. So, like, some of the dwarves are just levitating in the air. There's the townsfolk cheering with their pompous hats on. Yes, we have 5,000 speedy dwarves. These are dwarves. That move five times faster than normal dwarves. Their stumpy legs have been imbued with the power of Hermes or something like that. Against Spoondor. Spoondor the giant cyclops that's been hitting ecstasy and, I don't know, freaking crystal meth for the last 20 hours. He attacks like 200 times faster. He's got a ton more hit points and he does a little bit more damage. Can the dwarves take this behemoth down? Here we go. Here we go! <laughs> Look at him just kind of like pulsing. He's just like pulsing and dwarves are just flying. 
It's like a cyclone of dwarves in the middle here. Oh my god. Dwarves are falling left and right. Can they even get close enough to hit this guy? I have no idea. Now, he doesn't have like a million hit points. I think I gave him like 300,000. So if the dwarves can get there, like they can do some damage. I just don't know if they can get there. Look at this guy. Hold on. Let's let's grab him. Yeah, you can see. He's taking a little bit of damage. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I can just hold the button down and dwarves go flying. Hold on. Let me see if I can carve a path. Oh, there's so many dwarven bodies. I can't get through them all. Go ahead and give you guys a right. The old patented gray right hand right there. We've killed 300 dwarf right now. They are doing a lot of damage. I'm actually quite surprised at how well they're doing. Hold on. Let's go ahead and use Godwinds. Get in there, dwarves. Don't you get, don't you get flung out. Get back in there. I don't know how much damage the Godwind does as well. Who's gonna come out on top of this? I think that Spoondor pretty much has the win. I'm pretty sure he's already killed well over half of the Dwarven force. Some of them are still levitating in the air. Can we take, can we take one of these guys? Hold on, can I use you? Like, oh, oh, it's working. Oh! Oh my God, his organs just vomited out of his mouth. That's interesting. Oh, every once in a while a dwarf falls to his death. Oh, it's horrifying to watch. Look at this. Oh, it's a freaking travesty over here. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me see something real quick. Can we slow this down? Let me go ahead and put cinematic mode on. And then, uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and slow things down real quick. I want to see something. Can I take one of you, can I take one of you dwarves for a spin? Oh, you have to have cinematic mode on for this, huh? Did I, what the hell is this? What is this? Did I select one of the peasants? You can be a peasant? I had no idea. Oh, the pile of bodies. It's almost like I couldn't select the dwarf. That was really odd. Let's try out one more time. Oh, there we go. Yay! Ugh. It's like he ate his own axe. He was so unhappy with his own performance, he ate his own axe. All right. Let's go and uh let's go ahead and turn this off. The pile of dwarven bodies. Rises up to the sky. What kind of damage? Oh! They did it right as we grabbed him! The dwarven. The dwarves massacred Spoondor! Now, they lost a ton of men, but they did it! Look at the pile of dwarven bodies! Oh, that is awesome! The speedy dwarves are victorious! Oh my god, these maps are hilarious! Some of these units are really cool too. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of. Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. If you have any additional suggestions for fights, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.